I hope for the exhibition is that when people um, go into the galleries, they get a sense of an artist who's really um, completely immersed, who is up to his elbows in ink and paint and really just covered with materials um, and is always pushing for something new. And I think that pushing for something new is really the thematic, the main thematic of the exhibition. And we see it in many ways in um, works like this one, where he's struggling to find new means to fit new subjects. And of course, Paris is changing, and um, it's more bustling and more, more speed. Um, he also um, is thinking about new technologies, and in this case, electricity, and trying to think about how electricity changes vision itself. He also uses monotype, of course, to address subjects that he knew well, and that is the ballet, but in entirely new ways. And then he thought um, there's um, an incredible technical experimentation here, another way that he pushes towards something new. And we see here this address to the body where he kind of moves the ink around with great um, malleability and spontaneity. And then um, we also see it in these incredible late landscapes where he's discovering a, really a new kind of art form, um, a kind of art that, that a, a kind of form that really had never been seen before, verging on abstraction. So I think in all ways, the, the exhibition is really about that search for something new and um, showing a different side of Degas. Um, half of the works, about half of the works come from private collections, and about half of the works also um, come from outside of the United States. So together, these monotypes and related works um, where we see um, the impact of the experimentation in monotype and paintings, um, other kinds of drawings, sketchbooks, all of that together really show uh, this different side. You know, I think you, you think of Degas as someone who um, you know, was looking at Aang and was, was thinking about a kind of precise drawing, and so what, what monotype does for him is it opens it up and it allows him to try something entirely new. And he's not bound at all by convention, and I think that that's really important, that he wasn't, um, as much as he looked um, at works from history, he was never bound by it. And this, um, that, um, that, that willingness to go beyond what you knew, I think it is the most um, kind of striking.